hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so uh, on instagram i got tagged and tagged and tagged about uh, a post and i went and i checked it out and i'll read this post to you guys exactly how it is and uh, i couldn't stop like it was so funny to be honest with you i basically joined the comment reading association and i'm going to read to you guys uh, this post and the comments people left um, under this post i went on twitter to trace the post and this is the post that this guy chi gozirim made on twitter he said dear apostle Josie suleiman um you once told us that one of your members entered an airport toilet in france and teleported from france to germany after after you prayed for him please nigerians in ukraine want to come home but airports are down this is where you come in sir this is where you come in sir and this one said i can never forget that big lie <laughs> sorry excuse me i'm laughing already okay i can never okay i can never forget that big lie from apostle Suleiman. i saved the video i saved the video it's the biggest lie i have ever heard in my i really want to read this thing without laughing it's the biggest lie i ever heard in my life the Mumu members were busy shouting praise the Lord. This one said, putting pressure on Suleiman is not good. <laughs> but it's not good. The reason they putting, as in putting, as in, you understand, putting the president of Russia. So he said, putting pressure on Suleiman is not good. This one said, Sule talk and you believe him. I pity you. <laughs> and this one said, this is where you call me, sir. As per movie said, okay, oh. Suleiman action and this one says Eko is a romance ya mommy water this one said Nigerians never forget you see that's the thing there are a lot of things people do that you say if people will remember later she you say ah you can do this okay oh you are needed now Nigerians don't forget the abilities you claim to have right and this one said you don't read and this one said over to you, oh yeah, over to you, Apostle. I'll be rescue our people, bring them back to Nigeria. And this one says, so Apostle cannot wine mouth again. He needed to ginger his members. <laughs> and this one says, I remember that story, yo. This was the internet never forgets. And this one says, calm down, the hour has not come. <laughs> hour has not come to do the miracle. So you have to calm, you have to be calming down. And this one says, it should be Uromi is in Edo state because Suleiman is in Edo state. Uromi, there was a terrible bank robbery that happened recently. The same way, too, all these powers they have, they are saying, be Uromi is in Edo state. They have all these powers, and under their nose, things like this are happening. This is what happens when people claim to be able to do this or do that. Anyways, and even says, seriously needed, sir. Another comment says, Christianity is a joke, I beg. Okay, I need to clarify this. Christianity is not a joke. Only that a lot of jokers have come into Christianity. Because you see, Christianity is that faith where you can do anyhow. Nobody is going to, you understand? Anybody can come out and just say, I'm a pastor. Anybody can come out and open a church. It's just almost it's like free for all. So they take and do as they like. Christianity on its own is not a joke. Now, some people don't turn out here, here. This is what I want people to realize. When you say, don't talk about it, it's good to talk about these things so that those that are looking at Christianity from the outside can look at people that are speaking up and say, no, this is. They don't represent us so we can give people make people realize that no 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 that is not correct that's not what our bible says but when we show that no that does not represent our christianity we are guiding them away from those that are making it look like a joke and then this one says um with laughing emojis and says fabulous fabu uh, and this one says the end time fakers be disgracing christianity i feel like fakers only disgrace themselves you can't disgrace god and this one says just leave this mixed religious man alone uh, we're laughing emojis and this one says i love this country we're laughing emoji and this one says liars and jokers that call themselves pastors toying with people's lives by prey on their gullibility and making money off it and this one says he's busy call back <laughs> i've been now since all of them don't turn god to their mates and this one says pastor we are waiting for you sir please help them there's actually another post that i was tagged on I, I may do that i may do a separate video on that one where people were saying that he was praying he was praying for ukraine uh kata kata to end and uh, people tagged me on that one as well i think i make a separate video of that one you see one thing eh? i like the fact that you know people don't forget internet never forgets the thing is this it, it, a lot has happened where a lot of nigerians keep quiet it's not that it's not that they're stupid it's just that they're just they're just watching like hmm. you understand they're just watching there is so much that has happened 
that a lot of Nigerians, they're not a pull out. They just, they watch, but they see these things. But one day, I feel like some people's cups will be full. People that are making Christianity look like a joke in the eyes of the world. Because there was a time when people didn't doubt this much. People didn't laugh about things like this or drag pastor's leg like this. But they have brought themselves. They have brought on so much. So-called pastors. They have brought on so much themselves. That how much can the people take? How much jaga jaga can they keep? You know, train and people and expect people to believe it. Somebody said there so they talk and you believe them as in that person is showing that comment is like who believes him who believes this pastor the man that said there eh, ah she be the only buy how many jet people are talking uh, they only buy first of all he said he bought he bought a jet by the way previously he condemned buying of jet and then one day he said what did he say when i said god has told him that he needs jet that one day he flew to here and flew to here and then god said to him have you seen now that you need jet he that then that was when he said someone that was against buying a private jet oh, then he, all of a sudden he changed it and became the god has told him that it's time to buy a jet and then from there people were now talking and he said ah he, is the only one jet he bought that making noise that they're planning to buy fleet of uh, jets and they're going to have an airline they're going to employ people da, 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 da. till today nothing like that oh on top of that one he came out during lockdown and said eh, eh, during lockdown i bought my third jet when people now started dragging him on social media, I said, eh, and he said that he was praying for COVID not to end. When they dragged him, he now came out and said eh, he did not buy third, as in they are not, he does not own three. He bought a third one. It does not mean he kept, if I'm not mistaken, he said something like that. He does not have the other two anymore. He bought a third one, meaning that the other ones are no longer with him. He's only one he has. That's what he now ch changed the story to. At the same time, this is the person that said they are going to buy fleet of jets. And they're going to have an airline. And they're going to have kiddie, kiddie, kiddie. Till today, the airline will not see. Okay, another one that they are saying he wants to feed the multitude. He said he'll be cooking free, free food canteen or restaurant or whatever he called it. And uh, he's going to do it. And uh, another thing is this. All this coming out to come and brag. I will do this, I will do that. Why be saying no, they do one first and come and tell us I have done? You know me, I made a video about the canteen. Personally, me, I no fit for that kind of place. Someone that have said that he's dangerous and he can make you disappear. Someone that told his house boy, uh -uh, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. There was a way I don't I don't want to kill you or something, you know, something like that. I will go and eat his free food. Personally, you that's what people don't realize. I said personally, me, I know we'll chop. Right? But at the same time, there was one pastor in was it Port Harcourt? This one built a free school and free food for the students. Nobody heard. It was after he has already built the school, he has already did the the whole thing, the free lunch and everything. That was when he now came out in the news that look at what he has done. But still a man own, he will announce it. He never do, he will never do. He will just announce. Maybe now without the people not the drag and maybe he will not want to prove the point. And he'll be spending 24 million a month to feed people. COVID come, you know, feed people. Now, now he want to feed people. People like will say, well, you should bring them from the toilet. You know, blah, blah, blah. She be a so-called pastor. He say he has private jets. Why he not send the private jet to go bring the Nigerians back home? He always coming on social media. He always bragging and bragging and bragging. Upon all the bragging. Somebody like him, as the way he brags all the time. Why did he teach a plane to go and bring Nigerian, Nigerians back from Ukraine? He can do that. If, if he not fit to teleport them from even toilet itself, at least let him, maybe there's no toilet that's big enough to put all the Nigerians at the same time. <laughs> he can shut a plane. Actions. Actions. Like I said, the so-called food, free food restaurant, that thing may never happen. But they already talk and come out to give make name. Do one man tell us, say, I have done. His own is never like he do, does it, and then no. He will be announcing and announcing he's going to do this. Only do. Nigerians are there now. If you really want to kill it, go there and help them. Anyways, at least it's nice to see that not everybody is there. But that comment section, I laughed. Eh? I laughed and laughed. I couldn't stop laughing. The comments. But it, it, it gives you hope to realize that not everybody is easily fooled. Many Nigerians, only they don't know the talk come out. You understand? But all this, whatever, people can see through it all. And it kind of reassures you that eh, the blind know plenty as we didn't think before. You know, a lot of good eyes are opening. Anyways, people tagged me on that and I said, let me come here and quickly share it here with you guys. Eh? As always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.